What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because we have fall haul part three, but just jackets. And if you know me, in terms of any type of clothing to put on my body, jackets are my pride and joy. And definitely something pretty much after handbags that I think is worth investing in because I do think that they can help create a capsule wardrobe if you purchase good quality pieces. Just want to say a huge thank you to The Jacket Maker, which is an affordable luxury jacket brand for reaching out to me and wanting to send me one of their beautiful jackets. I'm so incredibly grateful. I'm not getting paid to do this at all. They just wanted me to share the jacket with you just to give some light on their brand, which I think is incredible. They're kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys, which is Lisa10. I'll put it on the screen. I have six jackets to show you guys. First one I'm gonna share is from the jacket maker. The other ones are all kind of random and I'm just so excited to style these pieces. I'm gonna be showing them in a split screen on how they fit and how I would style them or the way that I'm most excited to style them. I'm actually so excited to be filming this because this is sort of me playing dress up right now. It's currently 84 degrees outside. It's luckily cooling down but this is my excuse to dress up and actually put these items on my body. It just brings me so much joy because you guys know how I feel about fall fashion. So first up, like I said, I wanted to share the jacket from The Jacket Maker. This is the most incredible brown colored leather jacket I've ever seen. It's like a cross between like a cognac and kind of like a milk chocolate. It's not super dark. It's not super light. It's not a camel. It's like that perfect milk chocolate brown. And you guys know, I've been like highly obsessed with brown lately. And I really wanted, they let me choose whichever one I wanted. I really wanted something that was kind of like that cool girl street style vintage looking leather jacket where it can elevate a white t-shirt or you can literally throw it on with anything. And this is something you can pull out year after year. The jacket maker prides himself on using high quality materials and leather. And you could tell that the cut is perfection because they have a made to measure service, which I think is chef's kiss. I think it's really hard to find a company that's going to do that for you in house. Usually people will order stuff or get something and then take it to their local tailor, which is what I've been doing for years, especially when I thrift something or if I find a piece on the real reel or something like that, and it's just not quite my size. Instead of doing that and spending more money, they offer this service for $50, which I think is completely worth it, which leads me to my next point. I think that these are an amazing gift, okay? If you have a loved one and you know their measurements or you want to get their measurements, this is so special. It's going to be literally made for their body. And another thing that they do is embroidery or patches or certain design elements that you can make it super unique. So you could get your loved one's measurements and get a jacket tailored to them, but you can also get like something embroidered, like a cute little word or phrase or their name. And they have patches that you can put on the jacket. I think that's so cool that in-house they have affordable luxury leather jackets that you can get tailor-made to your body, plus also customized. That's mind blowing. And I think that they need a huge shout out. And I just think it's incredible. So you guys are gonna see me try it on in the split screen if I haven't already put it up. And I just want to show you guys inside. Obviously, it still has the tags on it because it's so incredibly hot. But look at the inside. It's quilted. And they have a little pocket. I mean, I'm, I'm obsessed with this jacket. Not to mention there's so many different styles and colors that you could choose from. I don't know. I just think that they do incredible work. And I just want to say a huge thank you to them again. And I cannot wait to be wearing this this fall. I think in the cutaway, I'm going to show how I'm going to be styling it. I really like it zipped up and tucked under with just a simple t-shirt and a lot of accessories, cute shoes and a bag. And I'm, I don't know, it's just very cool girl street style. But again, there's so many different other styles that they carry that I can't wait to actually order myself. So, so grateful to have heard about this company and I'm just very grateful to share them with you. Next up is literally the most perfect barn jacket that I could find. I had done an H&M haul on my TikTok. If you're not following me there, please go follow me there. I do things more real time, especially when I do hauls. And there was a barn jacket that I really liked, but it was too big and too long. It was kind of giving 
I don't know, the same sort of silhouette out of, as something that I can literally pull out of Matt's closet. I'm pretty sure he has something like that and it's all greased up and cool looking already. So I kind of wanted a more feminine version and this is the one from Zara that I have been on a waiting list for for a very long time and I finally got my hands on it and it's the cropped one with the drawstring that you could sort of adjust it at the waist. I love all the pockets and the zippers. I love that the color is very minimal. It's not like some huge chunky thing it's thin enough but big enough I actually put a sweater under like if i wanted to have a hood hanging out or a cardigan under layering is key with these not to mention these run huge so i had originally seen it in store and they only had a large left and it was a massive on me in not a good way okay and you'll see in the cutaway this is a size small so definitely size down and i still have a ton of room to wear sweaters underneath i don't know i just think it's so cool or, or even wearing it with this sweater underneath I just think it's really, really cute. It's very flattering in terms of where it hits for my specific shape. And I just really love it. I think I'm going to be wearing this for a very long time and something I can also pull out for spring next year when it starts to, you know, get warmer, but obviously layer when it's chilly. Next up is a jacket that uh, I ho really hope I can link. If I can't, I'm so sorry. Run to your local Marshalls. This was recent, okay? This was one of those finds where it was just such a me jacket and it's not very much a trendy jacket it's just one of those things like you either like it or you hate it and i just love that it has the denim with the teddy i think it's so cute i'm not excited about getting my makeup on this because i know i'm gonna get makeup on this but i just could not help myself it's not like the best quality but it's definitely worth the 25 bucks that it was it's by the brand wild rose that marshall's carries i got it in a size large it's really cute. I was actually wearing denim that day that it like matched perfect to. But I picture myself wearing this with like my matching little sweatsuits, picking up, dropping off Cleo. Also too with denim. Obviously we love denim on denim here forever and ever. But how cute is this? I don't know. Can't wait to wear this. Okay, next up is something that I have been wanting to buy a new version of for years. Do you guys remember the pixie coat? I think that's what it was called. The pixie coat from I don't even remember the brand I think you could buy it from like a couple different places I think I still literally have that jacket on sale on my depop or I don't know maybe I sold it a long time ago it's somewhere in my bins or gone but I was obsessed with that jacket for so long and it was so cool but I really have been wanting like a newer version of it that fit better that was the most unflattering jacket I've ever worn spent so much money on it and wore it maybe like once or twice and hated the way it looked is an awful feeling and again, it was like one of those hyped up pieces that like if you have it, you knew it was the pixie coat. Anyways, we're beyond past that in fashion now. And you can get so many different other cool teddy coats from everywhere. I am obsessed with this one. If you saw, again, that H&M fall on my TikTok, you would have seen me sort of try this on. There's like loose strings, okay? Going from like really good quality jacket maker to H&M, silly. But I really, really love this color. And I love how oversized it is. I like the faux leather little piping here. I loved how this one was lined and just had a little bit more quality to it. It was the more expensive one out of the ones that I have ordered. Those I now have like returned. So I ended up keeping this one. I don't even know what this color is. It's like a gray mushroom. I just think it's just going to match everything. And the perfect jacket to do pick up and drop off. I know I talk about pick up and drop off a lot, but that's literally my life five days a week. And my schedule revolves around, you know, my children, obviously, but especially now that Cleo started school. And I just want something that I'm going to feel cozy in and pull together and just still look like a cool mom, you know? So anyways, love this. I'm going to link this. Hopefully they still have it. I think it goes in and out of stock. The next two pieces are unfortunately nothing I could link. And I, again, hate doing this, but I would love to share with you guys to give you inspiration to never forget that eBay and Depop exist for like suede jackets. Now leather jackets are another thing. I obviously love to thrift leather jackets, but leather jackets are something that I think I can pull out throughout the entire year. When it comes to suede, I don't know how often I'm going to be pulling out a suede jacket. So thrifting and getting it off of eBay and Depop, places like that, Vestier Collective, The Real Real, if you're looking for more of like a designer one, I highly recommend doing makes your piece more special also to the quality of faux suede in stores right now garbage okay garbage we don't want that the zara faux suede that they have right now is trash sorry no offense but this is like a dream jacket of mine literal dream jacket like this reminds me of the days when i was like obsessed with lizzie mcguire but it is so freaking cute i found this beauty 
on Depop for a ridiculous price. I don't even want to say the price because it's kind of like rude. <laughs> I always get mad at people when they show like scores from the thrift and they're like, I found this real Chanel bag for $11. It's like, I want to punch you in the face. Anyways, this was like a steal and it's in perfect condition. Not only does it have, first of all, this is faux fur and I made sure that it was faux fur before I purchased it. I don't know why that kind of like freaks me out, even though it is more ethical to buy if you're going to buy fur, obviously pre-loved, vintage, old, but I just, I don't know, that would freak me out a little bit. So this is faux fur, but the inside is completely lined in the arms, in the back. This is the coziest, warmest suede jacket you can ever, ever find. And it's like a womanly jacket, which I think is so cute. It's going to elevate, obviously, any outfit. But if we do go somewhere cold, which we might go to Mammoth this year, I picture just very chic looks with this. And when I say it's warm, I mean, like, I don't even know how much I'm going to be able to wear this. But I do know I'm going to have it in my life forever and pass it down to Cleo. This is so incredible. Like, so incredible. I'm sorry. I don't mean to floss like that and show it off. But please, please look on eBay for things like this. It's just, you can find such, such good stuff for a steal. So speaking of thrifted jackets, the next one is from eBay. I love it. I, I don't, I'm not obsessed with the fit, but the fact that I got it for 25 bucks, which I don't mind showing off the price of that because there's so many out there that look like this. It doesn't fit amazing. It's not the most flattering, but boy, is it cool. I feel very cool. This is very Emma Chamberlain coated or... I don't know, Gigi Hadid street style type of vibe or Bella Hadid, whichever sister, whichever Hadid. I don't know. It's just very cool girl street style effortless. And the quality is amazing. Okay. It doesn't have a weird smell. You can always message a seller like, Hey, does it smell bad? Or, you know, some people get weird with used things and I get it. But if they say that it's in good condition, then it's in good condition. You just have to sort of trust the world and for 25 bucks I think it was worth it um it has a pocket it has a quilted thick inside so it's very warm and a ton of room to obviously wear whatever I want layered underneath but this is a very 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 cool jacket I actually wore it the other day when I took Cleo to dance class because we had a chilly morning the moms were like why do you look so chic I was like I don't know <laughs> I think it's just the jacket it's very very eye-catching which is silly it's just a brown suede jacket that I picked literally nothing for that I have no clue who used to own this anyways that is my fall haul part three of jackets I definitely have a fall haul part four because I have so many other random miscellaneous things that I want to share with you guys I really hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you in the next one bye Mwah.